got a big old giant mess in here. Welcome! Welcome everybody that's not here. We gotta readjust the phone. So bear with me. We are just getting started. I am going to do some seeds. I gotta clean up a little bit first. Gotta get rid of a bunch of stuff that's in the way. They're dead, and she said, I don't care, water them. They're all dead, look dead to me. She said, Water them, they should still come back. So we'll do what she says. We've got a whole bunch of new garden racks and trellises and stuff. You see them? You don't need all those out, so I'll just. Yes, sir. Uh, getting stuff done. I pull all the maple syrup taps and all that. So we are done with maple syrup for this year. Pretty chunky. Throw in some of this Jiffy natural and organic seed starting mix. It's got a funky monkey smell to it. Woo. I'll show you what seeds I got here in just a minute. Oh, I hurt my fingers. This is about useless. I want it a little bit moist. I don't want it completely dry. The stuff in the bottom is bone dry.
clean off them now. I think I'd have a rag in here. i wipe my hands off with the paper towels. What does that have to do with anything that's going on on this live stream, Mike Oxlong? What kind of a question is, is that even? You've just been zapped. Wait, why do people even come into a live stream and freaking even ask stupid questions like that. I don't deal with that in my freaking lives, so. Anybody else wants to go ahead and freaking comment something stupid like that, I'll zap you too. I credit stuff like that to jealousy. Jealous because you can't freaking do what I do. Appreciate everybody coming in and joining. Hey, Joe. Susan Perry, what's up? Timothy Briggs, how you doing? Yes, I am in the greenhouse on Easter. I don't really do anything for Easter. We don't do Easter eggs. We don't pass out like Easter baskets or anything like that. Um, we're not even having like an Easter dinner or anything. Honestly, it's like, I don't know. We're not like evil or something stupid, but just, there's a few holidays we just don't really celebrate much anymore because, I don't know, we don't. And Easter is one of them. But yeah, so I'm in the greenhouse on Easter. Yay! All right, I gotta water those plants over there real quick. We're just getting started out here. I already zapped one guy because he had to ask me a stupid question. Do you have kids or are you just gay? Like, why do you even, I, I just, that really started off this live stream well. But he's gone now. And if he's one of my subscribers, I don't even care if he's not anymore. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna plant some seeds here as soon as I get this stuff watered. She wants these ones water. She's dead. Tell her. Hello, Joe Cook from the UK. Kristen Connor, hi.
Susan, your grandson got a greenhouse. Awesome. It is getting hot in here, so it's about 80 degrees. It was 98 when I first got in here, but I gotta turn on one of these fans, so it's gonna make a little noise. But I can't die when I'm trying to do this. If you got that stuff watered, I don't know why she's saving the bird's nest, but we'll put it up there. Um, just gotta moist up the soil just a little bit more. So we're going to be going over the seeds here in a minute that I'm planting. It's mostly stuff that you can start this time of year. And the way Maine's been, I'm not going to do what I did last year. I kind of jumped the gun a little bit last year and had plants that needed to go out. And I thought it was about good timing to put them out and put them out. And then we got a giant frost out of nowhere, which is freaking completely stupid. Yeah, that's pretty good. So this year I'm going to do the ones that I can start now. And so we got spinach. I think spinach was one of them. No, not spinach. Uh, tarragon. some daisies, some sunflowers, some magic roundabout sunflowers. Whew, that sun's beating right down and it's getting hot in here. Some solar power sunflowers. Some evening sun sunflowers. Some Italian white sunflowers. Sage, Swiss chard, and big pink hybrid tomatoes. So we'll be doing more tomatoes, but that's all I have at the moment. What is it with the people today? Slap myself, slap yourself, slap yourself. sunflowers so we're gonna go with the Italian white sunflower first Oh, 
This is just the beginning. We're going to have a lot of other things we're going to plant. But. We had to get some stuff started. Maine's been back and forth on everything as far as weather goes. You think it's spring and then it snows. This is just, just our own personal home garden. It's not like we're gonna be selling anything. I mean, I, I will sell some to people if they want some, but last year I was gonna try to sell plants and everybody that said they wanted some, when it was time to get their plants, they didn't want them because they went to a greenhouse in the town and bought them. I was like, well, thanks for you know telling me you wanted plants, so I grew some for you and then you didn't want them. But that's how the world works these days. Then, after that, everybody makes up excuses for everything. It is what it is. You just gotta do what you do. So we went and did some treasure hunting yesterday. It was awesome. After being stuck in the house for freaking days on end with rain, everything being muddy. And I'll check the, the comments periodically. I appreciate everybody that's hanging out and chatting. Yeah, Tim, the people, you're a moderator, so if you see somebody like uh, Ron131, slap them. Like, uh, if they're being ridiculous in my group, you're more than welcome to zap them. Remove them. Because I don't, I don't want to deal with that stuff. I don't know why people go on live streams and say stupid shit. I yeah, mean, I appreciate them coming to my live stream, but... A little bit of seriousness got something awesome to say then these are the these are how tiny these sunflower seeds are hope you can see them That's 15 inches apart. So that's one seed per thing, but they're tiny. Back on my <clears throat> treasure hunting yesterday, went up to uh, Hancock, Maine, and uh, Ezra found a thimble and an uh, Indian head penny and some other stuff, and then 
we went over to the ocean over in Hancock and I found a uh, 1941 Walking Liberty half dollar which was amazing because I had never found one before. Man, is it getting hot in here. These are the tiniest sunflower seeds I've ever seen in my life. Gonna get, I'm only going to do one tray of these ones. Harder than hell in here. I mean, if it matters, I'm wearing my holy shirt on Easter. And that's that. I'm going to put the rest back in the package. I think I have a marker. Oh, yes, I do. Phew. I appreciate that, Mark. I mean, Tim. <laughs> I don't like those, Mark. Um, yeah, it was a good day. I, I wasn't finding nothing all day, and then out of nowhere... Boom, hit that freaking half dollar. It's just been an incredible season for me, metal detecting what I could get in this year. Doing way better than I did last year. This watering can is a piece of crap. white sunflowers. Yes. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support me a little bit, I need some support. I need to buy a new pin pointer. They're like $120. I wore through my pin pointer at the coast the other day. Who knows how long it's going to last. But 
nobody helps, then that's fine. I'll just buy one myself eventually. But all right, I've got to. Uh, I've got to run up and ask my mother a question about. If there's any certain ones of these sunflowers she needs, and I obviously would text her, but I am using my phone for the lot. Just give me like two seconds and I'll be right back. One tray of each. So, that's what we'll do. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate that, buddy. Every little bit helps. I don't ever ask for much on my YouTube. I tell people if they want to help support me, help me get some fuel for gas, help me find some new equipment, that is always just amazing. That's what it's about. Um, and I don't make very much off on YouTube, but it always helps. All right, so the Italian whites, that's the ones we just planted. Now we're going to move on to the evening sun. These are, these are bigger, I think. She said just plant one tray of each. Man, it is hot in here. I gotta open the door. Whew. 81 degrees in here. I'll be down to my underwear eventually. But yeah, these are bigger. So let's get these filled up with dirt. Yeah, I, I had a video, a uh, deer video, it was just a short video, and it got like 2 million views plus, and everything was going crazy on my YouTube, and now everything's starting to level back out. But I still have... So great, I have a lot, well I have a lot of great people that always watch my videos and comment and I, I really appreciate it. Um, I had a video the other day, I was, I, I was messing with a battery charger that I just bought. Um, I was a little grumpy during that video and I, if, I, if I seem grumpy towards my subscribers and towards 
a few people on YouTube, um, well, I, I, I apologize, but I, I wasn't grumpy towards you. I was grumpy because I'm a treasure hunter and I was stuck inside for days. Um, I guess I could have gone out in the rain. I just didn't feel like being wet. So today it's nice out, but they're talking we might have another storm soon, which is ridiculous. But today it's beautiful out. Yesterday was nice out. But as far as my treasure hunting goes, um, I pretty much got my that legend down. I've, I've messed with it, messed with it, and got it set the way I want it. Um, people ask me all the time how I got my metal detector set up, and um, honestly, I've messed with it so much that I don't even know um, how to tell anybody what the what my settings are. I do know I use field most of the time, um, and I'm on M3. And I adjust my my power up and down. I usually adjust it until it starts tweaking out. And once it starts tweaking out, I'll go down until it stops. And it usually works pretty good for that area. Um, the house we were at, the old farm that I was at yesterday, was Ezra. The, that yard it kept it kept pinging my metal detector. Um, so I had to go really down low as far as the power went. Because um, uh, it would like get a signal and then it would disappear and then it would get a signal and then it would disappear. Um, yeah, it was it was really strange. I've had some other places in the state where my metal detector would just go freaking nuts. It just went, I couldn't even metal detect anything. No matter I went up, down, what setting I put it on, anything, it would just go nuts. And that was down uh, towards uh, Bucksport. All right, so these are a pretty sunflower. Um, bigger seeds. Once again, I appreciate everybody that's joining and watching me plant some seeds. If you've got any questions, I'll check the comments. I already put a seed in there. Except for the evening sun.
Can't wait to see that mail call, Danny, and welcome, Ezra. Yeah, you do, Ezra, so I can watch it. I still got to post your link in my video. I didn't do that. I forgot. Uh, I used to do the midnight shifts, too, at Walmart. Time for a... Uh, a break. Time for a break. Woo! Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, I was saying how if you guys want to help me out a little bit um, with the donations or whatever to get a new pinpointer, uh, Ezra from Easy Digging, he needs to get a new pinpointer too. We both wore our pinpointers out yesterday on this at the same beach. So there must have been something about the gravel and the rocks there to just kill both of our pinpointers. So next up on the list is going to be solar solar power sunflowers. So those are the next ones. And these ones only need six inches of spacing, so. They're loved by pollinators too, that's good. So we'll uh probably put two seeds depending on how big they are. They're pretty big seeds, well. We'll only do one seed in each package. Just taking a quick breather. Ezra, I'll get a new pinpoint. Well, Ezra, if I get a, if I get enough uh, help, we'll say from donations or whatever on my channel, to buy myself one and there's money left over, um, I'll, I'll chip in with you to help you get a new one too, bud. Because we detect together, and without a pinpointer, there ain't no metal detecting. Well, you can, but it's a pain in the butt. But I'll help you out, brother, if I can. You know that. We're gonna redo the whole garden this year. Um, build up all the beds taller. Been a lot of work to do. It is getting too hot in here. Holy.
Alright. Alright, so she's gonna go get me some more dirt. Uh, I had tip protectors on mine for a while. Petra. They didn't last. Hopefully she can find more dirt today. I don't know what's open in town. Is everything closed on, on Easter? I would think if I was a business that sold Planting supplies and stuff that I'd be open on Easter. Feel like everybody would want to do stuff like that on Easter. I might have more dirt right there underneath the stand that I got my camera on. I was thinking about it, but the Garrett Carrot has always been pretty loyal and solid. And I don't know if I need to know the whether the whether it's Ferris or not. Or, I'll catch you later, easy. Why don't you record some of the egg hunt? <laughs> all right, I might be able to use all of these ones. These are the solar power. Solar power, oh, that's a big chunk. These are what the seeds look like out of them ones. Almost like normal everyday sunflower seeds. And we got a few left, so we'll just put them away and save them. Sweet! Well, hello, Bear Wire. Welcome. We're just planting some seeds here in the greenhouse. Enjoying the day. Chatting with everybody. <laughs> well, you have fun, Ezra. We'll catch up, buddy. Promise. So right now we've planted 
planted uh, evening sun and sunflowers and Italian whites, and these were solar powered. Which I got to write down. So, general consensus for people who are watching this live stream. Do you like when a YouTube channel only posts once, maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks? Or would you rather have a, a YouTube channel that, like mine that where I post quite frequently? Sometimes every day, sometimes I miss a few days in between, but if I do, I'll post a short or something like that. Just, just wondering, I mean, because it's not going to change how I do my YouTube. I just do it. I post things, it's not like, it's not like a post just to, to try to, I mean, you do post to gain views, but it's hard to explain. Like, I just post what I'm doing that day. If, it's in, if I think it's interesting, I'll post it. You know, I like to share what I do. But, I, the thing I, I'm not, I don't understand about YouTube sometimes is why you post a short, it gets views, and why you do a live and you get views, but then you post a video and it's like nobody sees it or something. Like 10,000 subscribers, you think you'd get a lot more views than 100 views on a video. Some of my videos only got like, I don't know, 60 views. It's like, why? Did nobody see that video pop up? I'm just trying to figure things out. I want to do what you guys like. That's the point of it. All right, so we got the solar powers done. Should be able to, all right. I gotta fix. We have an underground pipe that comes from the house over to here, um, but it froze over the winter, so. Trying to get some of that dry stuff in the very bottom. Next in. Next up on the list is Magic Roundabouts. You can see those. Nice. Let me know how those deviled eggs turn out. I'm thinking about making some, uh, uh, some pickled eggs, but I want to make uh, mustard pickled eggs. I saw a recipe the other day, they look pretty good. Ah. Let's 
see if I got another one of those grapes. The yard's going to be beautiful this year with all the sunflowers and all the different flowers that are going to be planting. It's going to be a lot of work, probably a lot more than last year, but a lot more organized. Last year was my first year in the greenhouse since my dad was the one doing it. So now i got to leave the thing a lot more uh, organized in my fashion, you can say, I guess. It should work out a lot better this year. Yeah, as I was saying, I wore out my pinpointer. I am looking for some, a little bit of donations, maybe some help from people if they feel like they want to. Nobody's obligated. Plus I have a store, you can always get yourself a nice Outdoors with Aaron hat. So I gotta get myself one here pretty soon. But it's uh, probably gonna be a pinpointer first because it ain't gonna last long with a hole in it. Dip it into the water and done. But I'm on a roll. I can't stop now. I gotta find more treasure. It's just been amazing. I've found more coins. Already this season, it's just starting that I pretty much have the whole time I've been metal detecting. And it's all because of the legend. There's so many adventures coming up that we've got planned with people and uh, it's gonna be a crazy year. You guys are gonna be hanging on the edge of your seat watching my channel. Like, what are these guys doing this time? You ain't even gonna believe it. If only you could be me so you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So like I said, these are the magic roundabouts. Well, there ain't very many. Sunflower. 
That was them. Check the old comments out. No more at the moment. I'm gonna run out of dirt. Hopefully, she can get me more. If I run out of dirt, I'll give you a walk around and show you what everything looks like out in the garden right now. Something like that. And so, hopefully everybody got their giveaway prizes from the, the live stream for 10,000 subscribers. Um, I actually have another giveaway. Uh, one of the people didn't want want it. They were, said they were very appreciative that they want it, but they do their own maple syrup and stuff, and they didn't want it. So I have a maple syrup uh, package giveaway that I will actually I'll do it this this live stream. Before I end it, I'll go grab it and we'll do a giveaway. So whoever's in here has a chance at winning a sticker pack and a maple syrup sample and uh, some maple, freeze-dried maple flakes. Um, super delicious. So if you're here when I do that, you'll have a chance at winning it. Next ones up on the list are Velvet Queens. I am in Maine, Matthew. Welcome to the stream, bud. Temp's gone down in here and it don't feel like it. Alright. So those are the velvet queens. So now I gotta make up another tray. Oh. 
Gonna take a break. I gotta stand out here just outside the door for a minute. It's so hot in there. Whew. So where's everybody from that's watching? If you if you don't want to say, you definitely don't have to. But I'd like to kind of interested to see where people are watching from. I know I had a guy from UK earlier. I'm in Maine, Central Maine. Anybody, anybody? Tell you what, while I'm waiting, I'll walk up, I'll grab that sticker pack. Um, hello, Mona, welcome. I'm gonna walk up, I'm gonna grab that other sticker pack and maple syrup and that I, that guy didn't want. And uh, we're gonna do a giveaway. So just bear with me, I'll be right back. And also give me a split second to cool off. All right, folks. Give me a second. I'll show you what we got here. Now, this was a giveaway I did during my 10,000 subscriber live stream. And the guy said he was very grateful, but he did his own maple syrup and he wanted to give it to somebody else. So what we got is this little sample of the first batch of maple syrup I made this year. Pretty thick and dark and um, tasty. And then we have this, this little Mylar package of Maine maple sugar flakes made in a, in a freeze dryer. Take the maple sap and put it in the freeze dryer. And then we have a sticker pack that goes with it. A, a Scorn Adventures. It's my buddy Seth. That's his YouTube channel. We have an Easy Digging sticker. And then we have an Outdoors with Aaron sticker. So that's all going to be in this giveaway. So if you were at the 10,000 subscriber live stream and you didn't win a prize, you can get in on this. If you did win a prize, um, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't try to get in on the, the drawing. Um, I'm going to try to write everybody down if you're interested. So... 
Let me get out my little bingo machine. The easiest way to do a drawing, there you get those the balls that are in there out. <laughs> I appreciate that, Danny. So you enjoyed it. I worked really hard making it. All right, we're going to get ready to do this. So if you'd like to be in on the drawing, uh, let me know now in the comments and I'll write you down and give you a number. Uh, it's not much. I wish I could have gave out more, but um, it's a lot of work and you don't, I didn't get, I got, I got like two and a half gallons and I sold probably a gallon to the Plymouth store for, cause he's going to open a uh, little waffle house type thing. All right. So Tim, if you, if you want to be in the giveaway, say, put me in the giveaway in the comments. That way I know, and I'll try to get everybody. Please put me in the comments. <laughs> Mona wants to be in the giveaway. All right, Tim. All right, we'll give you guys a, a number. All right, Mona, you're B13. I know. I expect you to be a smart ass, Mona. It's funny though. So you're Mona, you're B13. You're in the you're in the drawing. You're in the you're in the wheel. And then Tim, your number is I19. If anybody else wants to get in there, let me know. Victor Chesley, put me in. All right. Okay, Victor, your number is in 35. Uh, yeah, we're doing bing greenhouse bingo for a giveaway. And when I when it's all over, you just gotta go to my about info, uh, get my email address, and email me, and I will send it right out. If you'd like to be in it, uh, Treasure Trails, and just let me know. Awesome, Danny. I'll watch it later. I appreciate that. All right, so this is what I'm giving away. A little tiny bottle of my first batch of maple syrup in a little mug. Um, some main maple flakes. The main, it's a maple sap that's been freeze dried down. It's super good. It's, it's almost like snowflakes. You can put it on pastries or probably even use it in your coffee or whatever you wanted. All right, no problem. So we'll wait for some more people to get in here. I have three right now. If anybody else in that's watching wants to be in on the giveaway, just just let me know, and we're gonna keep going till I get more people. Probably go ten people, so you have a really good chance of, of winning.
Mona, who are you talking about? Uh, BC Treasure Trails? Should I give him a wrench? I'm not... I'm not familiar. I've, I've seen them a few times, but... Usually if I know... If I've seen you in my live stream quite a bit, I usually give you a wrench. I just don't want to give too many people a wrench and have somebody that I didn't know and thought that I did and mess up my whole live stream or something. You know. No offense to you, BC Treasure Trails. Anybody else want to be in on this drive? I'm trying to kill some time, but with this drawing, because I don't want to run out of dirt. Uh, hopefully, mother can get some in town. So we're doing a giveaway, folks. Free to you. All you gotta do is enter and then send me an email if you win with your address and I'll send it right to you. Uh, I just sent out a bunch not too long ago. Uh, old, uh, old Danny boy got one. He enjoyed the syrup. So he won't be disappointed. It's about... 7,000 degrees in this greenhouse. Nobody wants to be in on the giveaway, huh? Only three people. Got some awesome stickers. And some maple syrup. <laughs> I like watching Danny's eating challenges. I actually uh, tried the uh, Burger King um, chicken wraps challenge and thought it was going to be easy. It ain't easy. I can eat some food, but damn. When you try to do it in a certain amount of time, it's tough. So we're doing a giveaway. Everybody's welcome to enter. I don't even care if you're overseas. I'll send it. I don't care. If you're in Australia or freaking Antarctica, I don't care. Enter, I'll send it to you. Unless they don't let me send maple syrup overseas, then I won't be able to send it to you. <laughs> I do not know. But if I can't, I'll send you something else. I think Ezra left. He said he had to go on an Easter egg hunt. All right, well anyways, next up on the list are painted daisies, single mixed colors. Let's hurry up and get some more people in this giveaway. And we'll do that. And then I'll plant some more stuff. Hopefully we get some more dirt. I only need 10 people and I got three. Boneless pizza. <laughs> That's funny. Imagine eating a pizza with like bone and freaking chicken on it or something. <laughs> well, if, if more people don't enter the giveaway soon, I'm gonna do it with three people, so. If you really want some maple syrup and some stickers, you better enter now. All 
ride with me. What a great day. What a great day. <laughs> now, if you if you know anybody else, you can message them right now. Tell them to get in on a on this giveaway. If you have fa family members that watch YouTube, tell them to get in on it, and when they might have a chance to win. Because right now I only got three people. I'm trying to get to ten. I appreciate that, BC Treasure Trails. I'm going to wait a longer, a little bit longer. I'm trying to wait for Mother to get back. I'm going to check in this tote so I don't be alarmed if the camera's moving. I want to see what's in it. It could be dirt. It is dirt. All right, we got to move this for a second. Get over there so I can freaking do this. I think we got it. Well, not only stand's gonna be a POS. All right. So we're still doing a giveaway here. Got three people. If you want in on it, just tell me in the comments. Oh, by the way, Mona, I only like good music. <laughs> Need some more water.
That's what my work now looks like. All right, let's make sure I didn't miss anybody. Maybe. No problem, bear wire. None at all. If you still want to be in on it just because you want to try mine and you want the stickers, you're more than welcome. It's all up to you. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm still going to have to wait for more dirt because there's a lot of peat moss in this. I appreciate everybody coming in and hanging out and joining the live stream. Oh, you want in, Jason? All right. Uh, BC Trader Trails. All right, your number is going to be I-17. Ah, phew! Oh, my goodness. A bunch of dust flying around from the dirt. So I got you in here. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna sneeze again. Ah, All right, we got four people. I'm trying to get to 10. So feel free to enter, it's free. Some good stuff, some cool stickers. A little jar of maple syrup and some main maple sugar made with a freeze dryer. Ah, uh, yeah, it might be my service now and then it lags. If it, if it quits completely, I will definitely return. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. I found some cool treasures yesterday. Awesome, Kimberly. I'm glad you guys, hope you enjoyed it. That's a tip and spin ice trap. They're pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I gotta wait for more regular dirt because there's too much peat moss in this. Mom should be back periodically we'll get this giveaway out of the way and then i'll give you guys a a walk around to show you the garden she's in uh well it don't look too bad but we had some trees out there fall and some silly stuff like that and then we'll get back to doing some more planting Oh, uh, really? Well, I still have your address. Uh, I'm going to be ordering some stickers soon. And I'll get some from uh, Easy. And I'll get some from Seth. And I'll send you some more stickers. I'm a nice guy like that. Stupid mail, man. Not stupid male men, but the stupid male. You send something to somebody. I had, uh, I have a guy that sent me some fishing lures and, and the package was torn right open and the fishing lures were all damaged. Um, I don't know if you saw my video from yesterday, Kimberly. I found a 
walk a 1941 Walking Liberty half dollar. Totally made my day. Uh, that's one I can take off my bucket list. I put it right on my shelf. It was amazing. I didn't know if I was gonna find anything either all day long. We we hunted and then we went over to a, a beach that Ezra goes to and sure enough, I stepped up over some rocks, got a 50 tone, a 52. Uh, swung my detector over again, it dropped down to like a 30 and I was like, what is going on? And then I moved a rock and it went right back to a 52. So I dug it, flipped the dirt and it was sitting right there and I was like, ah! It's like, I think we got something. I flipped it and then I was like, Ezra, take it and look at it. <laughs> I, was, I was nervous. I was thinking it was gonna end up being a quarter. Yeah, nice, it was nice and heavy too, it was awesome. I, I, I've, I found a lot of silver this year, it's crazy. I didn't have a uh, seated dime either. I found one of those at the group hunt with DF Digger. So the way my season's going, as soon as I can get in my rivers that I usually hunt, oh my lord, am I gonna find some stuff. Uh, dude, uh, metal detecting is is everything. Like I, I love treasure hunting. I think I was born to be a treasure hunter. Like I, I just when it was raining and snowing and muddy and I just couldn't do anything and I was just going crazy, stir crazy. I just wanted to be out. And then the way our weather has been going, to get a nice day. Um, one day, the next day it's snowing or uh, it's just been horrible. Yeah, Danny, anytime you're up this way, you make sure you let me know. You're more than welcome to come hunt some of the spots with me. There's lots of good treasure. Maine is full of treasure. And one of these days, I'm gonna find gold. <laughs> one of these days, I'm gonna find one of them hidden pirate treasures. Well, all the coastlines have been torn up and everything that was down deep is like right on the surface and I mean, like, even even yesterday I found two, uh, well, I found one silver-plated spoon just laying on the, almost on the surface. Uh, I stuck my shovel in and it popped out. And then there was a uh, big serving fork with a lot of uh, details and stuff on it. Awesome, Chuck. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad it wasn't busted. Wow. So you must be in the UK? Treasure Trails? <laughs> That's weird. I didn't know that they liked maple syrup. Oh, British Columbia. Nice. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll still send it to you. As long as I, like I said, as long as I can send maple syrup, which I'm not sure because I've never sent it. All right, does anybody else want to be in this giveaway? We're giving away some, some maple syrup and a uh, main maple syrup, some main maple flakes and some awesome stickers. Um, I got four people I'm trying to get to 10. There you go. Keep digging metal detecting. Would you like to be in my giveaway? I got, I got a little bottle of Maine maple syrup that I made it's for my first batch. Some stickers. 
And this was for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway, but one person did not want their gift. All right, I'll put you right in then. And like I said, you just gotta go to, to my about info and my YouTube. And uh, email me if you win. All right, we'll give you a number. We have B9. All right. So we got B9. And it looks like mom cannot get any more dirt today. So I'll figure out what I can do with this. Just need a little dirt in it. So maybe I can find some somewhere. Sure we got something kicking around somewhere. I can mix it with that just to get it by. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five people. So, trying to get to 10. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. It's uh, 318 here. Um, I'll go to like 330, 335. If I don't get anybody else that wants to be in a giveaway by then, then we'll just do the giveaway. Um, I'll be right back in a second. I'm gonna try to find some dirt. I'm gonna talk to mom for a minute. I just, that's, Got some, that's got uh, potting mix in it, but it's got a lot of peat moss. And I don't want to have just that. Got a little bit of dirt here. They'll all get transplanted eventually. All right. You got any more, any plants or anything that have dirt in them that are no good? I just need it. That's got too much peat moss. That's got too much peat moss. I just need a little bit more potting soil. All right. All right. All right, buddy. Out, dog, out. All right. Um, I'm trying to, I, I would love for you to be in the giveaway, Kimberly, but you already won at the 10,000 subscriber one, and this is a gift package from that, so I'm trying to give it to somebody else that didn't get anything, but, uh, like I said, since your package got destroyed and you didn't get some of your stickers, um, uh, Kimberly, uh, uh, Kimberly Biss, her package got messed up in the mail, she got, she got every, she got the ice trap and she got, the clam sticker, but she didn't get any other stickers. So it must have fell out or something. But I, I said I'd get some more stickers and send her some stickers. It's only fair. And I'm a nice guy like that.
think it's pretty much good now. Dogs are going crazy. Um, you can do a lot of things with that maple sugar. What do you think about that? What do you think? What are you going to try to do with it? Um, actually, I haven't really thought about it. Probably. Go away! Jesus! <laughs> oh my god. Um, That's pepper. It drives me nuts. Chop it all over. It's freaking work. Oh, plastic bag. Yeah, it's a little bit of plastic bag. So basically, you can use it for whatever you want. I think it'd probably be best used on like a, a pastry of some sort or. Um, make a, a white frosting cake and sprinkle it all over it. Uh, probably put it in, you know, dilute it down. I mean, if you had it, I have enough of it. I could like what I, I've done four gallons so far, and it's about once I did the, you know, powdered it down. It only only made about a pint. So, I mean, it takes a lot, just like it would to make, make, the, make the syrup. But it's, it's a good uh, way to use the sap and not waste it. So, I don't know if you can hear her, but she said it takes a lot to make and you can use it for whatever you want to make. <laughs> <laughs> Be creative. Okay, so what time do we got? All right, so we got a few more minutes. Anybody out there watching want to get in on this giveaway? I got one, two, three, four, five people. Um, I'm going until about 3.30. Um, so if you haven't got in on it and you want to, do it now. And then we're going to give this away. I got... All that other maple syrup packet that I didn't give away. Um, I got a few more things to plant. I got those flowers over there. And I got some up here too I gotta do, the tomatoes and... I thought we had another tote that we kept the... I just took the dirt out of there and that was mostly pea moss. That over there is just pea moss. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, we use that and take all this. I already took all of it, it's all in here. This is everything we got. I don't need any more right now. If I do, I'll figure it out. But yeah, we use these I gotta get this. I gotta get this mixed up. What I've been doing. Because it's so dry. Please use these two pots for backup in case we need it. So dry. And you can use this one too. All right. All right. I'm out of here. Maple cream, maple bacon. You guys are making me hungry. Thought about maybe making donuts and using it like a glaze. She said she thought about making donuts and using it on the donuts as a glaze. Yeah, you can put the sugar in your coffee. That's a good one, Danny. That's a good idea, too. Yeah. Mona said, oh, my God, donuts, yes. <laughs> the apple cider donuts worked out. She said she's going to use it on uh, apple cider donuts that she makes. No, I can't try that, though, once I get some apple cider. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. That's an idea. I can get get me give me some ideas of what I can use that for. <laughs> give me a list, and then we'll we'll make a decision as to what we want to make. All right.
You too, Kimberly. I appreciate you stopping in. We are going to do this giveaway here shortly. If there's anybody watching and you'd like to get in on it, we are giving away a small batch of my maple syrup that I made. And a pack of maple sugar made with a freeze dryer. And some awesome stickers. So if you'd like to get in on that, tell me now or forever hold your peace. Because at 3.30, which is two minutes, I'm giving it away. And I have five people in the drawing, so your chances are really good. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. And also, I'm taking any kind of donation, if anybody would like to try to help me out to get a new pinpointer. Um, pretty hard up on cash at the moment because I've done a lot of sending out stuff and doing this and that and driving here and treasure hunting. And But anyways, yeah, I got to get a new pinpointer. And you're not all bad. If you'd like to help, I appreciate it. Other than that, we're going to do a giveaway here soon. And... You want to be in on the giveaway, Bear Wire? Is that what you're saying? Some pretty cool stickers. All right. Bear Wire. You are G49. This little bingo machine is, has been awesome. It's perfect for doing these giveaways. All right, it's 3.30. No more, unless you tell me right now. If, if you're watching and you want to be in on the giveaway, you better tell me now because I'm going over here to spin the wheel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, that's it. That is it. Let's spin this wheel and see who's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, here we go. We have a ball. Who's it gonna be? I-17 BC Treasure Trails has won the giveaway. So, like I said, email me. Go to my About Info on YouTube and email me. And I will get it sent out to you. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations. All right. Awesome. So he has won the little jar of maple syrup. It's from the first batch, so it's a lot darker and, and a lot thicker. Um, an Outdoors with Aaron sticker, an Easy Digging sticker, and a Scorn Adventures sticker. And the main maple sugar. Now I can brag to Ezra. <laughs> well, congratulations and thank you everybody for getting in on that. I'm, um, that. I'm glad I could finally give that one away. Um, I still got a few more things to plant here. 
but I have got to leave this greenhouse for a minute. I'm gonna bring the camera with me. I'm gonna take you guys for a little walk. Show you the garden so I can cool off. So this is the garden. Got a lot of work to be done. This year we're building up all the beds. Um, they're really rocky. My dad built a lot of these um, right before he started having a lot of issues. So he couldn't really take a lot of the rocks out and stuff, which I did a little bit last year, but they all need to be gone over. Uh, we're probably going to take one of these middle rows out so that we can reorganize all the beds and we're going to build them taller. We're going to be moving the chickens down here to this pen, which I got to fix and make build it taller so they don't fly out. Last year, I, there's a pile, that hill right there is a pile of goat shit. I grew uh, probably a 200 pound pumpkin last year, right in there. And then we got some trees and stuff out back. They used to have beehives, but the bear attacked it and destroyed them. Then you got mom's sauna, the garden shed, and then all the chickens. They need a new spot. How you doing, girls? So yeah, got a lot of work to do. We'll, we'll get her done. All right, back to finishing up these plants. Bear with me while I fix the camera. I gotta get a new stand. Right, there we go. See you later, Danny. Thanks for stopping in. I'll watch your video tonight. Everybody go check that video out. He got my giveaway and he gave her a good try. Make sure you subscribe to Danny Boy and BC Treasure Trails and keep digging it, metal detecting and Ezra. All good people. Alright. Now we'll get back to finish up these plants. And once I get your address, BC Treasure Trails, I'll make sure you I get that right in the mail.
LEDs fill that. I appreciate it, everybody. You guys don't even know how much I appreciate it. When I do a live and I have people in chatting and hanging out and just enjoying what I'm doing. And, you know, just shows that there are a lot of great people out there. When I first started, I had a bunch of trolls in here. One of them asked me if I had kids or if I was just gay. And then another one asked me, uh, well, another one kept saying, slap myself, slap my face. So I was probably some little kid. Uh, I just don't understand why you go into somebody's live stream and act like that, but I guess that's the world we live in. I mean, I have a lot of videos where I act foolish, but it's all fun and games. But I never go into anybody else's stuff and act like a moron. So the next ones up on the list are Painted Daisies. You can see those. All I can think of is that Larry the Cable Guy movie. They're like, are you Carlos Santana? The Carlos Santana? Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright. What is next? Alright, next we're going to do these um, big pink hybrid tomatoes. We ain't never grown these pink ones. Mom was totally interested when she saw them, so. Uh, is it easy in here? I'll, I'll, I'll message easy right afterwards and be like, can you believe that Jason from BC Treasure Trails won? <laughs> After I'm done with this, I'm going to go make a video. Just because I'm going to go do something fun that's going to involve beer. So stay tuned for that one. It's going to be fun. Ooh, a basket full of candy for my ears. Somebody like fingers as big as mine trying to handle these little tiny little seeds. Hybrid tomatoes. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. 
All right. Next up, we got. We'll do some uh, sage. I'm kind of behind on these comments. I have no goddamn clue what you guys are talking about. But that's okay. It seems to be a decent conversation, so have at it. <laughs> I uh, when I was younger I used to have my hair grown out long probably down to here and it was shaved up under and I used to wear it back and my hat and I got some pictures I'll 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 post some pictures in my community on YouTube so you guys can all laugh at me now I just keep it shaved because during the winter I grow it out with my beard and stuff but. This year, at, uh, we were out, me and a buddy of mine were out during New Year's. Um, we were having a fire, and I, we both went down to the fire to blow on it to try to freaking get going, and he blew harder than I did, and the flames caught my beard, and a little bit of alcohol was involved, so, yeah.
Happy Easter! Get in the helicopter! I feel like this is Stevie Nicks. I don't know why. Nope. Not even close, Aaron. Not even close. Sage is dead. <laughs> Fire pit sounds good. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll go burn some shit. doing their, their metal curbside cleanup and every year I go out with my truck and trailer and pick it all up before anybody else can get to it. Um, I make a, a killing on uh, cash just taking it right from here to the next town over to the junkyard. Uh, dude, with people last year, they were, they were so pissed off. I was going, I pulled down the road with my truck and trailer and they give me the finger because they were out trying to collect metal. Um, but they, you know, I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to have my coffee and I'm already out on the road. And these people are getting out there at noontime thinking they're going to go around and pick up all the metal. I'm sorry. First come, first serve. If you're going to sleep on it, you're not going to get it. So probably this year I'll be battling with a bunch of people, but it's going to be fun. Exactly. Outdoors with Aaron is going to rise today and change the world. That's what the world needs is more human decency. Everybody's going to stop making everything a, a competition. I was bitching about that on Facebook not long, not long ago. Because it's like... If you're in any metal detecting group on Facebook and you post something and you say it's the wrong, say it's a coin and you say it's the wrong coin, you're going to have everybody biting your head off thinking you're stupid or something. Well, I'll be, honest, I'll be honest with you, I'm not very good with coins. So I haven't found a lot of them and I don't collect coins. I mean, I do when I find them. Um, but I'm, you shouldn't shit on people for not knowing something. You should correct them in a nice way. That way they don't, you know, they can learn from their mistake and not feel like they should never post again. I just hate that. I hate Facebook for that reason because I'm in a lot of other groups too, like ice fishing and stuff. And somebody will go on there, like I said, I was in a, it's a deer hunting group, but this young kid, he said he's 15 years old and he's just learning about hunting and where's a good place to, to go to find a nice buck or something like that. And everybody's on there like, Maybe your dad should teach you how to hunt. Maybe this, maybe that. And it's like, he's a 15 year old kid. He's trying to freaking figure it out. Freaking help him out. Give him some pointers. Maybe he doesn't have a dad. But anyways, it's just a point. Why do people gotta be so ignorant and shit on people all the fucking time? 
I, I, I kind of like it sometimes when people try to shit on me because I come back at them. I don't care. Some uh, Ford Hook Giant Swiss Charge. Oh, no, I don't block them because I don't want to hear it. Nine times out of ten, they feel like an idiot. I'm actually gonna spread this out a little bit. Most times, people on the internet say something because they don't think about it before they post. They just like, ah, and then once you do come back at them, they feel like total morons. And they don't combat, they don't come, they don't comment again. Swiss child.
Somewhere we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I appreciate that, BC. I just do it the way I was taught, man. Plant the damn shit. <laughs> I don't, I don't try to overdo everything, like ever. I just do it the way I was taught and what I know. And if it don't work, I learn from my mistakes. I truly wish you all could have met my father. Cause he's, I'm a spitting image of my father. There ain't, there ain't nobody else. There ain't nobody else. I don't know. My dad was an original guy. He built all of this. I'm just carrying it on. Yeah, exactly. I just want to celebrate. There might be a few beers involved with this endeavor today. I love it. I'm having a great time. Plus, I get all this stuff done and my mom's happy. When my mom's happy, Everybody can be happy. I'm real, folks. I don't hide anything.
It's a, it's a man version of freaking Britney Spears. What the hell? It's killing me. <laughs> Oh God. Baby, why am I dying? Yeah. I'm gonna get smacked for this one, guys. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, so we got that, we probably got one more tray of stuff to make after that one. YouTube is the best. I can't get those high tones. How does that guy get away with doing this song? I guess it's okay in this, in this world today. <laughs> You know what's weird is these cilantro seeds smell like cilantro. Oh no shit! That was Jack Black and Tenacious D. How did I not know that? Never heard that before. That's crazy. Three dog night before that was celebrate. Rare earth would I just want to celebrate? Also extreme with rise. That's crazy. Crazy. Trigger hippie was rise up singing and Bruce Springsteen simply the rising. All right. It's 12 minutes after 4 o'clock. Fred Zeppelin here on Easter Sunday. You know tomorrow. So we got the cilantro planted. Break time. How you doing, Owen? That's my next door neighbor. Just planting some stuff down in the greenhouse.
I think that's about it though for today because I need to get more dirt and I got to clean up the rest of the bench over here. But that's what we got planted. Just chilling out now. Soon on, we'll have a bunch of dirt it needs to be shoveling rocks to pick. So if you get bored, you can come next door and pick out rocks out of the garden beds with mom. Maybe even help her plant some plants. Yeah, this is 100.3 WKIT. They always play a random mix of everything. Pretty good station. But all right, guys. I appreciate everybody coming and watching my live stream. We got some stuff planted. I'll definitely be back out here. There'll be more live streams because we got a lot of other things coming in the future. So this is just stuff I can start now uh, in the greenhouse. Uh, I've got more treasure hunting coming up. Um, stay tuned for the video I post tonight. It's going to be a fun one. Um, and watch my last video because I found some pretty good stuff. It was a fun day with Ezra from Easy Digging. Um, other than that, I appreciate everybody. Keep on naturing. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you. See ya. Peace. Appreciate y'all.